Today, we're gonna make neon Twitch overlays. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up with Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So first off, I gotta apologize real quick because this video is actually coming out on Monday. Normally my videos come out on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, but I was actually sick with a migraine both of those days. So Monday it is for this video, and then in the future, we're back to the weekends. But today we're gonna be doing something awesome. We're gonna be playing around with Saber inside of After Effects to create some really cool overlays for your Twitch streams, some neon overlays, or really whatever you want. Saber, the possibilities are endless with that plugin. You can do whatever you want just get in there play around with it and you're gonna be shocked at the cool things you can create but we're gonna be doing that today but one more thing I am sorry if you hear a little bit of a sound a little bit of a whine in the background I am currently 3d printing something I normally try to not 3d print while I'm making videos but since it is Monday a day that I don't typically record videos I kind of couldn't help it got a 3d print going so hopefully it's not too distracting maybe I'll put music over it so you can't hear it as much but we're gonna jump into After Effects we're gonna take a look at how to play around with Saber and create something awesome so here we are inside of After Effects. I've got a blank project here with just one asset um, brought in. I'll show you what that is here in a minute. We're gonna create a new composition, leave it just like this, 1920 by 1080 and hit okay. And we're gonna bring in this one asset. This one asset, one asset is a brick wall. And the reason I chose a brick wall is just cause I think that is a really cool texture to put a neon sign over. I've seen a lot of people do it. Um, Ethan from Crank Gameplays has a really cool starting soon screen with a neon sign over a brick wall. Um, Mr. Fresh Asian I'm pretty sure has a neon neon sign on some sort of wall. It's a really cool style you can do. And I'm gonna show you how you do it very simply, all free with the Saber plugin. So we've got a brick wall here. I got it from pexels.com, a really cool place to get free stock photos and videos for your, for your overlays and your graphics and everything. So link in the description to pexels.com. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rescale this beautiful, just like that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pre-compose this. So we're gonna pre-compose and we're gonna go leave all attributes in the new composition, hit okay. And now we can mess around with this composition like make it a 3D layer and just kind of rotate it around on this axis to get kind of a 3D look. Might need to scale it up a bit. There we go. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Just like that and then move it into place. Scale it up a little bit more. So there we go. Now we've got a 3D looking brick wall. It looks like we're looking down a brick wall instead of just directly on. But if we double click into the composition, you'll see we still got our straight shot brick wall to do all of our graphics and animations on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our text. We want it to say, how about starting soon? <clears throat> just like that, uh, not three O's, two O's. Starting soon. Let's make this a little bit bigger here, just like that. Let's make the font. I've been really liking the Roboto font recently, so we're gonna go Roboto Black. We're gonna go ahead and mess with our line spacing a little bit. Kinda like that, coolio. We're gonna go ahead and make it centered, beautiful. And now let's get this in place. So what we can do is we can kind of position it around and then go back to our comp to make sure it looks good and centered. That was actually pretty good for the first try. Let's move it a little bit like that. There we go. So that would be pretty cool to have this big neon starting soon screen on the brick wall just like that. And you see, since we did it inside of the pre-comp straight on like this, when we move into comp one, now it lines up with this uh, 3D camera move that we did. So back into this composition, we're now going to create a new layer and we're going to create a solid make it whatever color you want, doesn't matter at all because we're gonna go over, go over to our effects presets and we're gonna type in Saber. If you don't have Saber, there is a link in the description to Video Copilot where you can download Saber for free. It is super easy to install. You just go through the installer once you download it, you close down After Effects, reopen it, and boom, you've got Saber in here, an extremely powerful, maybe one of the most powerful free plugins for After Effects out there, highly recommend it. You can get lost in this plugin and make some awesome stuff very easily. So when you put it on there, you're gonna see what Saber does does, it actually creates a lightsaber. That is what Saber was originally made for. It was to create lightsaber effects, not for the actual Hollywood films, just for fun. But there we go, we've got a lightsaber. And what we can do that is really cool is we can come over here to customize core, hit the drop down, and under core type, we can go from saber to text layer. And I think you see where this is going and where it says none here, we're gonna select our starting soon text and boom, just like that, we have Saber now following our starting soon text. This is already incredible, but as you can see, we're on a black background. We don't want it on a black background. So we're gonna drop down here to render settings. We're gonna drop down our render settings and make sure we change this from black to transparent. And then just like that, you'll see we've now got the starting soon on our brick wall. But now we're gonna scroll up to the top and we're gonna go to the preset right here inside of our Saber effect. 
and the presets is where you're going to want to go first when you're playing around the saber. You can get some crazy effects. So let's just drop through a couple of these. So burning, this is probably going to make it look like fire. Sorry, it's taking a little bit to load. I have a ton going on on my PC from the 3D print to the recording to the After Effects. So much stuff going on, but there's the burning effect. Let's actually hide. Let's actually hide our starting soon text right there. So there we go. Actually, let's hide our pixels for now and make it a black background. So you can see it looks like fire there. Let's mess around with a couple more. Uh, fire. This one's going to look crazy. So there's fire. That looks insane. But let's get away from these fire ones. Let's look at something a little bit cool. How about mist? What does mist look like? That's pretty cool. So as you can see, the presets are amazing and immediately create some awesome stuff. And this just isn't a static look. If you play through these, you can see that these are actually animated. It's making it look like fire if you selected the fire one. But we've got a very specific one that we want. And you might see it down here, neon. So when we click that, it's going to create this pink neon sign look. And this is pretty much the entirety of the effect that we are going for done. You can come up here and you can mess around with the glow spread. You can mess around with the core size if you really want to customize what your neon looks like. So right there. That is looking incredible. I normally take the core size up quite a bit because a neon sign has those fat tubes So right there is pretty much what we want. Let's go ahead and turn back on our pexels layer here That might be a little big and a little bright. So let's go ahead and turn this down to 15. See what that looks like. That's not bad. Maybe 13 That's pretty cool. Now. Let's mess around with the glow bias a little bit there we go. Now we're looking a little less crazy. So that is what the sign looks like right now. If we go back into the comp, you'll see it looks like we got this neon sign on the wall. Pretty cool. But first thing we're going to do to make this look a little bit better is we want to take our pexels layer, come over here to our effects, and we're going to apply some sort of color grade. You can do this through a lot of the color grading tools. I'm going to use Lumetri Color. We're going to drop it onto the pexels layer. We're going to go to basic correction, and we're going to turn down our exposure because for the neon signs to look good, a neon sign to look good, in real life you want it to be dark in the room so we're going to darken our brick like that maybe up our contrast a little bit so we've made the brick look all nice and dark but what we need to do now is we need to come down here and duplicate our pexels layer and now we need to create one that is actually a little bit brighter so let's bring our exposure back to zero and then let's maybe mess around with um, our tint up here to make it look a little bit more magenta and pink kind of like our starting soon here so there we go so now you see we've got this kind of brighter and pink look going on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our rectangle mask tool and we're actually gonna mask around our text layer just kind of like that so Sorry, it's going a little bit blurry. Like I said, there's a lot going on on my PC right now. But there we go. We've got a mask drawn, and you see it pops up down here. We can go ahead and hit our drop down. And we want to feather the crap out of our mask here because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it look like the sign is actually brightening up the brick that it's around. So we're going to feather it a little bit more. Let's say 500. And then let's actually turn our mask opacity down a little bit because that's a little extreme. So maybe let's go like 80% and let's see what that looks like. I think that's still a little bit much, maybe like 50%. Maybe if we go all the way down to 50. 50 looks pretty good. So as you can see a little bit before and after before we added this light effect. So as you can see, it looks like our signs now brightening up the brick. Back into comp one, you can see how amazing it's already looking. And like I said, this is actually an animated look. The saber is not just a static neon or static fire or static smoke. It's actually animating a little bit and you can actually cause it to flicker a little bit too if you wanted to. So if we go back into the green solid here, here. You can mess around with like the glow intensity, the glow spread, the glow bias, or the glow core size to get a bit of a flicker look going on. Or if we kind of zoom in down here and we play it forward a little bit, and then maybe like right here, we take the enable glow here, and we're going to set a keyframe to turn that off. And then we're going to move forward maybe a couple frames like this, and then we're going to enable the glow again. So as you can see, we've now got this flicker look and it creates this white outline when the glow is not on, which is kind of similar to a neon sign because you've got the white tubes there even when the neon's not on. You've still got the sign there. It's just not lit up. So if we play through that in the comp one, you can see what the flicker looks like. So as you can see, now that we're rendered through a little bit of a flicker going on where whenever the glow comes off, you still leave behind the white tubes behind like there would be a sign. But don't forget that it doesn't need to be a neon sign. This already looks incredible and would be an awesome starting soon screen if you put your socials down at the bottom and then maybe your name up here. You could even put your name above the starting soon made into the neon as well. But don't forget, you're just using Saber. It doesn't need to be a neon sign. You can come in here and easily change this from neon to heat and then immediately you have a fire sign. You can have a sign made out of fire that is doing the exact same thing as the neon sign and this is flickering just like firewood if you play through it. It is a 
really cool effect using Saber, and I know I've covered it before, but usually I cover it to create webcam borders or something, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly in a video that you could apply this to a text layer super easily, and you can place it on background. So this brick wall is adding to the realism and making it look like there is just a fire starting soon sitting on this brick wall, but you guys can get creative with it. You can do whatever you want. Saber is amazing. Highly recommend it. Check out the link in the description to download Saber and get to creating some awesome stuff like this. If you guys make something amazing, like you create a firewall or a neon wall and put it on something cool, you could even take a picture of your stream room. Think about this for a minute. You could take a photo of your stream room and you could put the neon sign on the wall of your own stream room inside of After Effects this simply. If you create something cool like that, let me know down in the comments and maybe post it to me on Twitter or post it in the Discord. There's a link in the description to my Discord in every single video description, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get creative with some Saber and I will see you in the next one.